Okay, so we have this fantastic set here. Uh, this Ravi is an avid reader. Throughout the year, he reads four different magazines. Um, that is one, two, three. Uh, days are till three sixty five. He read Outlook on the days which are multiples of fifteen. He reads the week on the days which are multiples of seven. He reads no cabbages on the days which are multiples of four and front line on the days which are multiples of three. So and there are three questions to follow here, right? So let's try this try this set, guys. Try this set. If you cannot solve it, try this set at least for fifteen minutes till you get the correct answer here. Okay. Now we'll discuss this set actually. Now look at this set. Okay. So it says that Ravi is an avid reader. So obviously it's a set of Venn diagram, right? Because there are multiple overlappings here. Okay. Overlapping between the number of days of uh different magazines actually. So once I see this guys, so basically if I see number of days that Ravi will read Outlook, okay. So number of days that Ravi will read Outlook, we can calculate that, right? What is that actually? So there are three sixty five days, and Outlook is reading in multiples of fifteen actually. So I should divide three sixty five by fifteen, and because number of days will always be integer, just take the integer value. So three fifth uh, this three sixty five by fifteen is actually twenty four. That means he is reading Outlook on twenty four days of the year, right? Basically, on every multiples of fifteen. So in a in an year from one to three sixty five, there will be twenty four multiples of fifteen, right? Similarly, he is reading. Uh, the next magazine is basically the week. Okay, so the week he is reading basically the week he is reading in multiples of seven. That means there are three sixty five days here in multiples of seven. This will be equal to fifty two. The next magazine is here. Ah, uh, no cabbages. Okay, so this no cabbages magazine. He's reading in multiples of ah uh, four, right? In multiples of four. So three sixty five by four. That is equal to ninety one. So in an year, in ninety one days, he will read the magazine no cabbages. Also, ah uh, this front line, which are multiples of three. So front line he reads on how many days, guys? This front line he reads on multiples of three actually. That means three sixty five by multiples of three. That is equal to one twenty one, right? So now once you're making Venn diagram for this, okay? So basically you can think of making four parameter Venn diagram. But let's learn a new thing actually, okay? So if you observe that this uh, number, these numbers are actually, uh, if you observe all these number numbers are multiples of fifteen, multiples of seven, multiples of four, and multiples of three. You see that three and fifteen, so basically all the multiples of fifteen will also be multiples of three. So I can make a Venn diagram where the multiples of three will be completely inside multiples of fifteen, right? So let's make a Venn diagram like this. Okay, for example, what I'm trying to say is, see, so basically I'll make a Venn diagram here. Fine, so that will be like this. Uh, let's say this for uh, the week. Okay, let's say this is for basically. uh the front line will go like this okay let's see a third one that is for no cabbages okay so we should start from somewhere here no cabbages okay and then we have one for actually that uh this part outlook will come completely inside the front line okay so i can make a circle like this now understand this venn diagram guys okay it's a point to understand this kind of venn diagram because uh it's bit uncommon but quite easy to solve and understand actually right so basically what i'm trying to say here is let's say i make this for a the week okay so i make this for the week right or i make this for the week here fine look at this so once i make this for the week okay The other will uh, let me put put this for front line. Let me put this for uh, this no cabbages here. Okay, and let me put this this inner one. Let me put this for outlook actually. This is for outlook, right? If you observe, the week is basically fifty two times. There are fifty two numbers actually. Front line is actually ah one twenty one times. Outlook is actually twenty four times. Okay. And no cabbages is actually nine ninety one times correct right now once you see this data actually so now let's try to put uh, some variables and let's solve for it right let's say I put this value as basically a I'll put this value as b I'll put this value as c I'll put this value as d I'll put this value as e 
I'll put this as F, then G, then H, then I, then J, and then K. Let's put like this. Okay. So these, these are the values here, right? Okay, this is A plus B plus, uh, this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, right? This will go like this, right? Now, if I understand, if, if you uh, get this, uh, try to get the values here, okay. So let me now just, uh, we don't need this, right? We have already used it now, just rub it, okay. Now, if you see here, so what I want to calculate guys now, I want to calculate that how many, what is the value of basically these numbers here like F, G, uh. so always start from the maximum overlapping part, right? Basically, I want what is the value of F. So first of all, I would want what is the value of F. Now, what is the value of F guys? So basically F is it like total there are 365 days and F means common part of all four. Basically, basically the week is a multiple of seven. I'm reading multiple of seven. Frontline in multiple of three. Outlooks in multiple of uh, what? Outlooks in multiple of uh, this. Uh, I think fifteen, right? Yes, Anna. And then uh, this in multiples of three. Sorry, multiples of four here, right? It's in multiples of four. Okay, fine. So three sixty five by a common multiple of three. Uh, then 15, then 7, and then 4. So if you see this, 3 and 15, their LCM is 15, right? So basically, this I should write actually, but I should write this as the LCM of these numbers actually, right? So it should be the LCM of 3, 5, uh, 15, and 7. Why? Because if we have total 365 here, okay, so 365 days, this one magazine is read, read every third day, one is read every fifth day, their common will be LSM of 3 and 5, that is 15th day. Now, these two common will be 15 day, then when one more magazine comes here, with LCM being 7 day, day right, 7, oh sorry, I'm, I think 3, 15, 7 and 4 here, okay, let me do it, 3, 15, 7 and 4, right. So basically, yeah, so let's take this, so if I take 3 uh, and uh, this 4 actually, so one magazine is read every three day, one magazine is read every fourth day. Their common will be every twelfth day. Okay, then LCM of 12 and 15. So 12 and 15 LCM will be 60. So common will be there every 60th day, right? And then 60 and 7 in, is 420, right? So basically, if I combine all the magazine, I'll get it on the fourth 12, 420th day, right? But we have only 365 days here. So 365 by 420, this should be zero, right? This should be zero. Basically, in a, in a single year, I won't have any day in which I'll get all the four masses uh, together, right? That means F will be equal to zero here. F will be equal to zero. Now, in such questions, right, when making this Venn diagram, it's very important to go with the, go with the kind of uh, this, these numbers actually. It's very important that you go it, just uh, guys. Yeah, it's very important actually that you read these numbers and then you complete that diagram actually. Okay, so what do you mean by completing diagram? Let's say for example, I want to get the value, I want to get the value of C plus F here. If I read C plus F here, this is the part of C plus F, right? This is the part of C plus F. Okay, this C plus F you observe guys, this C plus F is actually it is the part of these two circles, right? If I complete that C plus F, it's the part of these two circles actually, right? That is, it is the part of what? It is the part of outlook and the week. So it should only go for the intersection point of 15 and seven, right? So C plus F value, if I want to calculate, so C plus F value should be 365 upon LCM of what? What is that C plus F guys? That LCM of C plus F, right? That C and F. What is that LCM of week and outlook? That is 7 and 15. 7 and 15. That is 365 upon 105. And this will be 3, right? That means 3 days will be common. In that actually, F is 0 already, right? We calculate F is 0. That means for sure, I got the value of C is equal to 3. Let's write this outside. 
आई गॉट हेयर सी इज इक्वल टू थ्री करेक्ट राइट है ना तो वॉट एंड डिंग जस्ट कंप्लीट डायग्राम राइट जस्ट होल्ड ऑन गाइज जस्ट स्टे फॉर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ओके यूल ऑल डाउट्स विल बी क्लियर इन दिस ओके नाउ जस्ट रब दिस पार्ट ओके नाउ वॉट एम ट्राइंग टू से दैट लेट्स कैलकुलेट दी वैल्यू ऑफ एफ प्लस जी नाउ जस्ट ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम राइट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट ऑल दी वैल्यूज दैट आर एसोसिएटेड विथ एफ एक्चुअली राइट सो नो हियर दिस आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट एफ प्लस जी If I want to calculate f plus g here, f plus g. Now what is f plus g, guys? For this f plus g, if I see this, this is the region of f plus g, right? Because always complete circle. Now this is part of which two circle? This this is part of this circle. Obviously, right? And then this is part of this circle. Correct? This is f plus g, part of outlook and part of no cabbages, right? So part of outlook and part of no cabbages. So can I write f plus g as the intersection point of what outlook and no cabbages? That is three sixty five upon LCM of that is outlook is fifteen multiple, no cabbages is four multiple, four and fifteen multiple, right? That is three sixty five by sixty. Okay, so three sixty five by sixty will get you the value as basically this will go six times. This is six. Okay. Similarly, we had got already f is is equal to zero. That means we'll get the value of g is equal to six. So till now, what I got? I got c three. We got g six, and we got f zero till now. Okay, fine. Let's move forward. Okay, let's move forward. Now, if we moving on, now basically again rub this part, right? Now again, just calculate quickly all the values associated with f now. Okay. So now, if you if you calculate this, what is f plus g, right? So now, once we got the value of f here, so we can calculate the value of f associated here. So we got the value of c, g, and f. C, ah, uh, c we got, g we got, and f we got. So I can say that I can get the value of d also, because d this these are the part of outlook circle here. In outlook circle, the total number is twenty four. C plus f plus g is nine. So can I directly say that d will be equal to fifty? Right, so d will be equal to fifteen because total sum is going to be twenty four. Twenty four for this outlook circle, right? And out of that, these values are already there. Fine. Now, uh, with this f, actually, if I if I want to move on, then let's say f again. Let's say I want to calculate f plus i here. Okay. If if I want to calculate f plus i, now be careful, guys. Okay, f plus i. If I want to calculate f plus i here. This is actually f plus i. Okay. Now you can sense that these are part of three circles, right? If I complete this circle, this is one part of this intersection. This is one part of this intersection, right? And then this is one part of this intersection, right? So it's a part of basically three circles here. Okay. So f plus g plus uh, f plus i is the intersection part of three circles. Which three circles, guys? They are weak. That's weak. That's multiple of seven. Okay, weak. That multiples of uh, weak. That is multiple of seven. So weak. That is multiple of seven. Fine. Weak. That is multiple of seven. Then front line. Uh, that is multiple of three. And then no cabbages. That is multiple of four. Okay. So basically three sixty five by eighty four. So basically it will go four times, right? It will go four times. So I can say that f was already zero. So I also got i is equal to four. So I got i is equal to four now. Okay. So just get getting it right. So if there's a funda of not making any mistake, right? It's a beautiful technique to tackle such kind of sets. Okay. So just try to understand this, right? Now let's rub this part now. Okay. Now, now if I if I see further on, guys. Now after f plus i, let's let's calculate which complete value I can calculate. I can see that. I can complete the value of f plus i plus j. Okay, so once I complete the value of f plus i, let's try to calculate the value of f plus i plus j. Now what is f plus i plus j, guys? So f plus i plus j is equal to if I complete this circle of f plus i plus j. Look at this. This is a part of f plus all all every time. Right? If you if you think that, let's say f was not zero, right? So you you are getting calculated on calculating only i plus j. Now you'll get confused if you write only i plus j here. No, you'll get confused that how to calculate the value of i plus j because these are not part of any intersection part, right? Whereas, whereas, whereas if I say this f plus i plus j, 
सो एफ प्लस आई प्लस जे इज बेसिकली इंटरसेक्शन पार्ट ऑफ दीज थ्री सर्कल्स हियर ओके सो दीज टू सर्कल्स हियर विच टू सर्कल्स गईस विच टू सर्कल्स सो वन सर्कल इज दिस वन ओके एंड वन सर्कल इज दिस वन राइट दीज आर पार्ट ऑफ दीज टू सर्कल्स एक्चुअली करेक्ट राइट है ना तो वट इज एफ प्लस आई प्लस जे सो एफ प्लस आई प्लस जे इट्स वीक इज सेवन मल्टीपल एंड नो कैबेज इज फोर मल्टीपल सो थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव अपॉन एल सी एम ऑफ सेवन एंड फोर दैट इज हाउ मच गाइज ट्वेंटी एट राइट दैट विल बी थर्टीन सो वंस इट इज थर्टीन एक्चुअली देन इट मीन्स दैट इट मीन्स दैट एफ वॉज जीरो आई वॉज फोर सो जे इज नाइन राइट सो नाउ आई वॉट जे एज बेसिकली नाइन So we also got J as nine here. Okay. Now I I will keep on getting these values, right? Once I got f plus J uh, G, right? Again, rub this down part. Okay. Now if I further see on guys, okay. Now let's calculate. We have done f plus I plus J, right? Now what else I can calculate here? I can also get the value of uh, what else we are left with. We are left with f plus G plus I plus H, right? That will give me the value of a uh, G we got. I F I got I I got right H okay so let me complete this part so I have to take that H unknown actually but H is not part intersection part of any circle right so H if I want to calculate so without any complexity we can quite easily calculate the value of H here what is the value of H this is the value this is the value of H right so if you take F plus G plus H plus I together it is basically part of these two circles correct right है ना What is the value of now? Let's calculate the value of f plus g plus i plus h, guys. Okay, let's calculate the value of f plus g plus i plus h. It is three sixty five upon LCM of what? These two circles, three multiple and four multiple. Three and four multiple. That is twelve. So three sixty five by twelve will be equal to thirty, right? So if f plus g plus i plus h is thirty, so I can sense here that. I got the value of f as zero. I got the value of g as six. I got the value of i as four. Therefore, h will be equal to twenty. So I further on got the value of h as twenty here, right? Now I got the value of f plus g plus i plus h. Now what else is left? See, okay. So I hope all are getting this concept, right? Now last one I think is left is basically to get the value of b here, okay? So f to to get b actually again what part to include? Just run over this, right? Just draw your, put your pen, and see where the circle completes, right? Intersection circle. So B is under this part, right? You can see it actually, and these are intersection of these two full circles. So I always need to see it is intersection part of which two full circles, right? These two for full circles. So B plus C plus F plus I is inside this, right? So if I write this here, okay, let me write this, guys. B plus C plus F plus I. Is equal to what, or basically is equal to what? That is equal to LCM of what is the LCM of? Uh, yes, correct, right? So sorry, three sixty five. Let me write first. So if I write here three sixty five upon LCM of what's the LCM, guys? So now this two circle is multiple of seven and multiple of three, seven and three. So twenty one will basically go. Ah, uh, this two hundred ten, right? Uh, two hundred ten and one forty seven. We go seventeen times. So B plus C plus F plus I will actually go seventeen times. In that already we have the value of C as three, F and zero, I is four. Therefore I'll get the value of B as ten. Now once I get the value of B as ten, I think we're done with all the values. I can simply calculate A and K also, right? So A, K and E, which are left out values, I can calculate actually. What what is the value of A, guys? You can see. So basically, in this circle is a fifty-two. B is here a uh, ten. C is here three thirteen plus zero thirteen plus four seventeen. I is four seventeen, and J is nine twenty-six. So A also becomes twenty-six, right? Similarly, K. This total is ninety-one here. J is equal to nine plus four thirteen plus zero thirteen plus G is actually six nineteen and plus H is twenty thirty-nine. So if you add this thirty nine and this total is ninety one, so we are left with fifty two here. So k is equal to fifty two. Similarly, the value of k. So that means uh, if I calculate for e, guys, you can just calculate for e actually. So this outlook circle is here twenty four. 
That means the outside should be 97. Okay. So B plus I plus H plus E should be 97, right? B plus I plus H plus E should be equal to 97. Among, among these values, what else we have got? We have got B10, we have got I4 and H20. That means E should be equal to 63. So E should be equal to 63. So we have calculated all the values, right? Now let's answer all the questions here. What questions we can answer? Look at the first question now. On how many days did he receive exactly? Did he read exactly two magazines, right? So was not trying to get exactly two magazine. So look at where exactly two magazine. Uh, just look at the circle. B should be for exactly two magazine. B is for uh, the weekend front line. J is as exactly two magazine. Week and the no cabbages. D is exactly two magazine. Outlook and front line. And the H is exactly two magazine. What is H? Uh, front line and no cabbages, right? Okay. So basically. So I should write here. So what is the answer? Answer is B plus G plus D plus H. B plus J plus D plus H. So if I add all these values, these values will add up to what? B plus J plus D plus H. B is 10, 9, 19, 15, 34 and 20, 54. So 54 is the answer for first question. On how many days of the year he did not read any magazine? He did not read any magazine, right? Just total 365 days. Hai. Just calculate the values on which he is reading the magazine. It is total Venn diagram value. So the biggest circle is 121. So let's count this full circle for 121. 121 plus 26 is 147. 147 plus value of J is 9. That is 156 plus 52 is 208. So it is 208. So 365 minus 208, 157 is left out. That's the answer. For second question, on how many days did he read exactly three magazines, right? So exactly three magazines, pe are aapka three magazines. So three magazines will be for C, I think, right? C, yes, it will be C basically because C is for uh, outlook, frontline and the week. Okay, then it is for actually G, right? Yes, G. G will be for no cabbages, outlook and frontline. So C plus G, then it can be for I also, right? I is basically frontline, the weak and the no cabbages. Okay. And then we have, we should have, uh, e, J, D, this is done, right? Okay. So E, E should be only outlook. Okay. Uh, H is uh, only two magazines here. Okay. Uh, then we have got, I think this, that's it, that's it, right? Okay. So I, we have done, uh, B have we take, B was for exactly two, C we have taken, that is C plus G plus I, I think, right? Yes. So C plus G plus I, if I'm not going anything, so C is basically three, G is six and I is four. That is equal to 13. So 13 should be the answer here. That is the answer for this question. Okay. That's a fantastic set guys. A very, very good set. Okay. And a good concept to know. So you can just, uh, learn this concept and preserve actually. Okay.